Hey guys, Mr. Bennett again. Uh, this is podcast 8.4 and I don't have a note sheet for it because this is really the same thing that you've been doing with mono hybrid crosses or just regular Punnett squares. This is 8.4. Uh, except this time now, instead of looking at one trait at a time like height, we're going to be taking two traits and crossing them at the same time. So we're going to be looking at fruit flies. Um, when we're discussing fruit flies, they can have black eyes. Let me shade these guys in and long wings. So this would be a dominant fly. So we have black eyes. So we're looking at eye color and wing shape. So long wings. Or they can be recessive. They can have white eyes. It's kind of creepy when you look at them under a microscope. And these are called vestigial. And I mean shriveled wings. So this would be a recessive fly. This would be a wild type or a dominant fly. If we're assigning alleles to these guys, uh, because black and long are dominant, we're going to have a capital something and a capital something for the wild type or the dominant fly. And a totally recessive fly like this one would be lowercase b and lowercase l's. So remember, we use that dominant phenotype to abbreviate each of our alleles. And so now we're going to do a Punnett square, a bigger Punnett square that looks at crossing these two things at the same time. And so this square is going to be a cross between two homos or excuse me, heterozygous flies. So we're going to have they're going to look their phenotype will be dominant, okay? So let's zoom in over here and take a look at how we get our different combinations. When we have a monohybrid cross, we have only two different combinations. It can be heterozygous or homozygous. When we have a dihybrid, our pendant square needs to get larger because we can take these and we can make multiple combinations. So um, we're going to put parentheses around these to help us see it a little bit better. Um, and we can do, just like in math, when you factor something, you can do the same thing here. So we're going to foil this. So we can have a dominant eye and a recessive wing. We can have a dominant eye and a dominant wing. You can have a recessive eye and a dominant wing. Or you can have a recessive eye and a recessive wing. So we've got four different combinations here, which means we need to have a Punnett square that's twice as large. So we're going to have 16 squares, or sorry, four times as large. And we take each of our combinations and put them across the top and down the side, just like you do in a regular cross. So let's take our dominant, dominant. So dominant, dominant, so black eyes, long wings. Then we're going to do a dominant, so black eyes, recessive wings. Then we're going to do a recessive uh, white eyes, dominant wings. And then a recessive eye and a recessive wing. Because they're both um, heterozygous, we're going to do the same thing down the side. BL b, lowercase l, lowercase b, capital L, lowercase, lowercase. And then your crosses, what we, what I teach is to do one trait all the way through. So let's do all the b's all the way through this. So this one has a capital B, capital B, and then down this entire row, or these two, dropping this one down. Now I've got a capital and a lowercase, and then a capital and a lowercase again. Second row, third row, fourth row, I'll fill in. So I'm going to fill those in real quick. So we have capital, 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 lower, 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 lower. So there's all my Bs. Okay, those are all done. Now do the same thing for the Ls. So we've got a capital, 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 lower, capital, capital again, another capital, lower. So we've got all of our genotypes in now. So now what we need to do is we need to focus on the phenotypes. And there's another little trick we can do. Looking down the down the, the cross here, we have our phenotypes. We can have a dominant, dominant, so a black eye, long wing. We can have a dominant recessive, so black eye, short wing. We can have a recessive dominant, so a white eye, long wing, or we can have two recessive, B, L. And we're just going to do counts for the phenotypes. So anything that is that shows a dominant trait, so again, we're looking, so one, two. Remember this one, you only need one dominant trait, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these crosses are showing two dominant traits, black eyes, long wing. Uh, if we look at black eyes and short wings, okay, so this would be one, keying in here, see this lowercase, lowercase l, we have a dominant eye color recessive wing shape, so that would be one, okay, dominant eye, recessive wing, two, 
dominant eye recessive wing is three, so we've got three of these. Then if we look at recessive eye long wing, okay, so here's one recessive eye, two recessive eye, three recessive eye, three, and then one totally recessive. So our ratio in this case, our phenotypic ratio is nine dominant dominant to three to three for your dominant recessive or recessive dominant to one totally recessive. And whenever you do a heterozygous dihybrid, this is always going to be your ratio, nine to three, three, one. Um, as homework, I would like you to do a cross between a heterozygous dominant, same thing, and a heterozygous dominant for the eye color, and then a recessive wing shape. So take a look at this over the weekend or um, whenever you're working on your dihybrids, and then we'll check on it in class.